Want to know why I never say Hill Odin and still uh, honor the old gods and how I could do that? Maybe you should watch this video.
Skål. Hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Yeah. Today I'm in Royal Forest. Perhaps you can hear some noise in the background. There's some forest worker here uh, cutting down trees, so I'm sorry for that. I plan to come out here. Uh, it has been a wonderful day. <coughs> uh, the sun is shining, but now I can see a bit of clouds. Perhaps we get some rain. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, today it's about honoring the gods. Um, some of you may know or not know, and some will probably be disappointed when I say I'm not a pagan. I'm a Christian, Dane. Um, in Denmark we have Christianity, and uh, that's how I raised. I'm baptized and so on, so uh, that is my belief. But I still honor the old gods, um, the old Nordic gods and uh, I think they are uh, presenting strength and harmony towards nature. So um, I want to do that and that's why I made this little uh, shrine, uh, put up some uh, lights, some candles, uh, my lard lamp from uh, soapstone and my three little figures uh, in the middle, Odin, uh, at the uh, his right to the left it's Thor and uh, on the uh, Odin's left it is um, Frey. And um, some of you are uh, writing to me Hill Odin and I never say that back, I never said it on my uh, videos and I'll explain why. Yeah. And uh, my parents that was um, living uh, during the World War II and uh, under the Nazi regime, they were Danish so they not, didn't live uh, down in Germany but they were very influenced about all the things that happened during uh, World War II. 
and of course they uh, told me a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, for me, saying Hill Odin is uh, something like uh, Heil Hitler. So it's very difficult for me to say it because when I sell Hill, when I say Hill Odin, I have such a, a strange feeling like I'm saying Heil Hitler. And it's not, and I express it's not because I think or believe that people who are pagans or uh, believes and worship the old Nordic gods uh, uh, are Nazis. I, I think that's really wrong because Hill uh, is a very old uh, saying to, uh, to uh, uh, celebrate or uh, honor the old gods. Um, but for me, it's not quite uh, good to say it. Hope you understand that. But I'm not saying that people are Nazis just because they are saying that. Not at all. You are free to do that and you are also uh, welcome to write me uh, in that uh, in your comments. Uh, I'm very grateful for that. But um, yeah, that's why I never say that and um, why I uh, say school uh, because that's also very uh, Nordic and uh, yeah, it's another way to say hello and uh, cherish and honor things among them, the gods. Yeah. Yeah, and as you saw, I got some new stuff. I bought this, made this little pouch that I showed you, and my little flask. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you a little bit closer so you can see, and then I'll tell you a little bit about these items. First, I would like to show you this, a little silver bowl that I bought uh, when I was on the uh, bloat, the ceremony on the uh, hills, the um, Lindholm Hoy hills. I saw people using this for a ceremony. They put meat in this and then drank it. And I, I was sold. I think it is so cool. So I tried to find such one. I found some in Denmark, but they are much too expensive for me. So I searched the internet and on Etsy, uh, there was a silversmith in Greece and she got a page called Silver Art Gifts. Of course, I put links to her uh, website or page on um, Etsy. And, uh, and Anestis, uh, who makes these um, bowls and other uh, silver things, uh, is a very friendly and very kind person. And I uh, talked to her several times about the size and so on. And uh, yeah, she's very nice to talk with. And uh, yeah, I can definitely recommend you to go into her page and see uh, if there's something uh, you would like. I put a link for this one. Uh, this is the big one of the two she has on her page. Um, but she says she can make other stuff if you want to do that. It's pure silver, uh, sterling silver, so I'm really grateful for that. And it's perfect uh, when I'm drinking meat from my little flask here. Yeah. And this is a new flask I made. Uh, out of leather, uh, I can use for my meat. Hello, Cornelius. <laughs> ja. Vi skal lige straks uh, videre, ikke også? Ja. Hvis du nu får dem der, de der pinde der derovre, ikke også? Oh, godt. And um, this flask and uh, this pouch that I made for the little bowl, I made a DIY video. And if you want to see that, you can go into my other YouTube channel, DIY Kimber, you can see here, and watch uh, the video where I make this, and uh, this little bag uh, for the silver drinking bowl. Hope you like. Yeah, you can see here. And the principle behind the, the flask is this antler, you put it inside your belt and up and then we'll stay there yeah now i think i'm going to make uh, my fire and uh, yeah
been a while since I've been out in the forest using my fire bowl. So yeah, always good. And I see that a lot of people are using it. So I'm very grateful for that. Folks, this is all for now. A short video. The uh, woodworkers are coming closer. Uh, they are having a little break now, but they are coming closer and the machines are very uh, loud. So uh, I have to cut this video now, but I hope you find it interesting. And uh, if you have any comments about uh, the old Nordic gods and um, why I don't say kill Odin, uh, you're welcome to comment that in my comment section. Yeah. And remember I put links uh, for the silver bowl and uh, for the um, DIY project I have in my DIY video. Yeah, hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye and take care.